Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB 18 franchise playthrough with the New York Mets. This is episode 25, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you guys are getting uh, my videos in your subscription uh, feed. Sometimes I was told that people get unsubscribed or they don't get the notifications. So just double check and if you haven't, just do it again, whatever. But if you like what you see by the end of this video, click that thumbs up and try to get at least 3 to 5 likes for this video. And leave any comments below. Now here we are for this June... What is this? June 12th game uh, against the Braves. And they are struggling right now. They are 26 and 40. I'll be facing the 0 and 8. Sean Lucombe with a 5.6 ERA. Uh, we have Zach Wheeler who's four, is going for his 4th win. Uh, with a 2.8 ERA. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing against the Braves in Atlanta. And we're going to see... Uh, I think I'm going to try to do a little format changes too. I think per week, per schedule week, I'm going to try to get just only two videos. Only because I'm, 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 in the June, I'm in June in my schedule here. And we need to run through these months, man. It's going to take forever to run through these uh, schedules. So, two games to schedule. Uh, I mean, two games uh, a week, and I guess I'll figure out who to play with then, but here we are. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in Atlanta. Alright, one and two to Marcakis. Wheeler gets off the back for a little bit. So one and two to Marcakis. Oof, good stop by Flores, and that is out number one in the game. Let's take a look at the Braves lineup. Marquegas take a sweet time to get back to the dugout. Here we go. Nick Marquegas followed by Dansby Swanson, Ender Enciarte, Kent Pagan, Tyler Flowers, Ozzy Albies, Charlie Culberson, Jan uh, Camargo, and Sean Newcomb. 2-2 to Dansby. That's a swing and miss from a two-seam fastball. That is his first strike out of the game. We are looking strong. That's going to be a double for Yohannes Cespedes as it hits the right center field wall. He turns first and he is safe at second. That's a standard double for Yohannes Cespedes. That's his 11th of the year. And that is a home run by Todd Frazier. No doubt about it. That is a two-run home run. That's a 20th of the year going 438 feet. Todd Frazier is having himself a hell of a year. This is MVP like more home runs than Yoannis. I think more home runs than more RBIs than Yoannis. This man is cooking this year. Showing the Mets fans that he is here to stay. Take a look at a replay here. Boom. As soon as he hit it, he knew it was gone. That is a fastball to Pagan down the middle. What was he looking at? Steel, steel, steel. This is going to be an RBI double for Astrubal Cabrera. And he is safe at second. And Rosario is safe at home, obviously, scoring an RBI double for Astrubal Cabrera. That's his 14th of the year. Rosario was going for hit and run play, but I guess he didn't realize he was going to be hit that well. And he is quick to make it home. Bring it one, two, Conforto. Conforto drives it to deep center field. It's going way back, way back. It's out of here by the waterfall. That is a two run home run by Michael Conforto. That too is the 20th of the year, going 436 feet. And Sean Newcomb's getting rocked right now. And the Mets continue to just destroy the Braves here early in the game. As he hits home plate. Meeting Jonas and Cabrera at home plate.
Oh, it's back-to-back -back home runs. First, Conforto. Now, Joannis Cespa is hitting it over those little benches to right field. Going, going 430 feet. That is number 18 for uh, Joannis Cespedes. And the, the destruction of the Braves continue. They need to take Newcomb out of there, man. That is three home runs. Meeting Todd Frazier at home. Who's up next? Boom. Opposite field power. That's another base hit by, by Todd Frazier. That's going to be... A double for Todd Frazier, so now he is two for two, a home run and a double now. It's gonna be a, oh no, it's gonna be a fly. Oh, that's gonna be a missed ball by the center fielder, and he's gonna try to push it for a triple, and he is safe. That is an RBI. I, maybe I could have made a. Was that an error? Is that considered an error for the Braves? Should have been. But that is a triple for Juan Lagares, an RBI triple. And Darno drives it to deep center field. Is this a home run? No, but he's going to advance on the catch. That's going to be a sacrifice for Travis Darno. It's going to be 8-0 Mets here in the third. Ioannis drives it deep, deep to center field. And this is going to be a home run. That is a solo shot for Ioannis. That's number 19 of the year. That's the second home run of the game. Going 413 feet. Uh, hitting it off Moylan. Ioannis Sasso is showing some power in this game. First going opposite field. Not home plate. Out goes Wheeler, in goes the returning Harvey from injury. He is 1-3 before he got injured. Not pitching too well with an ERA of 5.4. So let's see if he can redeem himself by putting me in the bullpen. What fucking place his pitch is better? Ah. Ah. That's Harvey giving up a home run already. That is Cul Culberson's. Fifth home of the year, going 406 feet. Razor under the last strike. And it's going to be pop up to Logares to end the game. And Matt Harvey finished the game for the Mets, but that's not an outing from him I like to see. Giving up too many walks, too many hits. Just in that one inning, giving up two runs. I don't know, but the Mets win. Um... Behind the bats of Jonas Cespedes, Todd Frazier, Michael Conforto, everybody on the team. Wheeler getting his fourth win. Three in innings, nine strikeouts. Great game from Wheeler. Bad game from Harvey. Um, that's the best I could really say. I wish he had a better game, but he didn't. It's unfortunate. So as I said, I'm going to have... Um, maybe this is what I'll do. I'll... I'll play a game from one series, skip an entire series, and play the next series. So I'll skip this series against Arizona, which is a four-game series. We'll sim through here. And we won, lost, lost. So we won. Oh my god. We were up six. Oh my god, we lost that game. Wow. Okay, so what just happened here? I have no idea. We got swept in a four-game series against um, the, the Diamondbacks. Um, let's take a look at it here. We beat the Braves 7-5 behind Noah Syndergaard. He's 10-2. And, and Jacob DeGrom had his first loss against uh, Taiwan Walker. I think that's how you say it. Um, 1-4 and then lost to Shelby Miller. 1-5 and then... What the heck happened here? Oh my god, he gave up six runs in the eighth. 
in the standings. Oh Blue boy. Jays are in second place in the AL East. Oh the boy, Nationals oh boy. Are in third place in the NL East. The Padres starting oh, pitcher man. number three. That's terrible. The and then we lost one to nine. This Arizona team, it looks like they're pretty strong right now. Uh, they're 43 and 28. We are 46 and 24. Uh, but the next game we're going to have. We're going to have Thor up against Tyler Anderson, against the struggling Colorado team. They're 31 and 40. Uh, Tyler Anderson's 2 and 6 with a 4.5 ERA. Uh, no going for his 11th win. And hopefully, we can kind of change our fortune here after getting swept. Uh, but let's take a look at the standings here. Um, in the. Come on. Is that like a. Okay, I guess there's no um, overall standings, but uh, we are 46-24, like I said. I think the closest team is probably the Dodgers. Wow, the Diamondbacks are actually in a wild card race more than anything else. And okay, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Again, if you like what you saw, please click the like button, leave in the comments below. Uh, what is this? Wow, they have a lot of people here. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to get distracted by that. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode of my uh, franchise, The New York Mets. I'll ask me thought. If you guys like what you saw, again, click the thumbs up button. Leave your comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. And as usual, peace.